Hey, Democrats who want to be mayor, got to ride the subway. I'm going to be doing it for 24 hours in honor of the subway opening up 24 hours again. So come ride with me. Now I know some of you are afraid of getting slashed. I brought masks for you to protect you from getting slashed. So hey, whether you're Yang or Eric Adams or Kathy Garcia or Scott Stringer or McGuire or Morales or Maya, come on, come ride with me. Come ride the Slasher Express of the MTA. Come on, you can do it. I do it all the time. I'm the only candidate who rides the subway. Come ride with me. I'll protect you. Well, that's, that's, welcome, Curtis. That's quite a video. We just played the video of your subway challenge. It would seem that Andrew Cuomo should be your biggest fan. You think you're going to get an endorsement from him? No chance. And by the way, uh, Andrew evilized Cuomo because if you notice, his eyes are evil. And by the way, that's quite a tan that he has uh, acquired uh, in trying to deal with the enormous crime problems that he has saddled New York City with and New York State because he imposed a no bail law, which has led to repetitive predicate offenders continuing to commit violent crimes over and over again with no consequences. So when you see the subways out of control from emotionally disturbed persons that you see nationally now, New York has become infamous for this, where they're pushing people into the tracks right before an oncoming train or slashing people as if it were a slasher movie or just youth gangs coming on, thugs and thuggets just rampaging through the subway system. A lot of it is due to... Um, Governor Andrew evilized Cuomo because of that no bail law, and he refuses to address it, refuses to amend it, refuses, uh, refuses to correct it. It's crazy. It's like 1980, 1981 all over again. It's just history repeating itself. It's, it's crazy that, you know, growing up in New York City around that time, you know, you guys were married, like the Guardian Angels were real life superheroes in my childhood, and you were so successful at cleaning up the city. As mayor, it seems that you'd be in an even better position than you were back then. Oh, yeah, uh, because uh, the reason I formed the Guardian Angels back in 1979 when I was a night manager in the Bronx is at night, there were no police officers in the subway system in what they call the off-peak hours from about 7 p.m. to 11, excuse me, to about 7 a.m. in the morning. And the reason that was is that they had fiscal cutbacks. We were on the verge of going bankrupt. So they had laid off uh, hundreds of police officers. And so it was a Wild West open, uh, open uh, arena for people to commit crime. And that's why I created the Guardian Angels, volunteers who went out there dressed as I am in the red beret, the red sateen jacket, unarmed, making citizens rest, doing physical interventions. So I know how to bring back the subways to the point where they're safe and secure and the streets and the parks. And that was the motivation to run for mayor.